Hey YouTube, it's been a while. I bought a house and uh, what you're looking at behind me is my new fish room. And we're going to show you how we're going to set up the fish room. So I'm going to document all the steps. Today we're working on the, uh, the air system. We're going to use a blower and we're going to hang PVC all around the ceiling so that we can drop out of the tank. And we'll show you how to do that. Down here we've got my blower that I'm going to use, at least until I buy another linear air piston pump. Uh, this I think is about a third of a horse or a quarter horse, something like that. I have to look to remember. Um, but basically, it's kind of like a, a vacuum that always runs and just continually supplies air. I'm going to plug it in here for you so you can kind of hear how loud it is. They're not crazy loud, but they're definitely not silent like a linear air piston pump. So you can hear it now. We've got lots of air blowing. So yeah, that'll supply all the tanks, and then uh, so I'm going to go ahead and unplug that. And it has to wind down there, as you can hear. But, so we've got concrete floors, which is nice for my fish room. Uh, it's, it was a shop already. It's got lots of, uh, of T12 fluorescent lighting, which will be going away. But, um, yeah, we're going to be hanging PVC basically in the corner there. And... Uh, all the way around. You know, this is a pretty large room, so uh, this is one of the, the few rooms I have. We also have a, a stove, a wood stove installed in here, which is kind of nice. I don't know if that's staying yet or not. Um, we have a fridge in there and, you know, a phone and all kinds of stuff in this room, but uh, yeah, so we're going to install that. I'm going to show you all the steps on how to do that. So what we've got here, we've got PVC cutters. This says it'll cut up to an inch and five eighths. It's a lie, it only cuts up to about an inch and a quarter, but an inch is really what we're gonna use. Uh, one inch PVC, this is a 10 foot stick. Uh, you know, it costs under three bucks. I think I spent $2.40 or something per 10 feet. We're gonna run this all the way around. This is the thin wall stuff. Uh, we don't need schedule 40 or 80. We're not running water. We're not gonna put it under super high pressure. This is a thin wall. It distorts a little bit when you cut it, which sucks, but it's also way cheaper. But if we need to make a cut, like we're at a corner or something like that, you just rest it in the jaws here. And this is a ratchet uh, system, so each click is going to put more pressure on this razor sharp blade. And as you can see here, it's going to start compressing the pipe a little bit till it cuts into it. And now that's the first cut. Just like that, we've now made another cut. Might need to, uh, you know, bend a little bit back in to fit it into the next piece of PVC or whatever. But uh, at the end here, we're going to glue all the joints. Uh, we're going to use either T's or couplings or uh, 90 degree elbows. But for the first incarnation, we're just going to go all the way around the fish room, and then we'll put in other stuff as needed. So uh, we're also going to hang them, and I'll show you what that's going to look like. So what I've got here is uh, electric, let me take that back, what I've got here is uh, electrical conduit uh, straps and these are made for one inch and what I like to use these for is they just go right around this pipe just like that and uh, you can screw it to a stud and so we're just going to do that every, you know, probably five feet or so. It doesn't need a lot because there's not going to be a lot of pressure on it, uh, but just enough to hold it in place. So we'll show you how that goes. Uh, yeah, here's PVC elbow and a coupling. And we're going to go ahead and install that uh, on this piece of PVC already because I know I am starting at a corner first and uh, the wall is over 10 feet long, so I'm going to need a coupling. We've got uh, all-purpose PVC cement, this little glue, PVC, CPVC, ABS, everything. Uh, I'm not going to prime the joints. I am gluing it though. If you don't glue the joints, eventually they vibrate themselves free and they leak air, so you don't get quite as much out of your system. So I do recommend gluing it. Uh, I'm not going to prime it because it's, it's not under that much pressure and I, I've never had a leak in the air system without priming, so uh, it also looks kind of messy. It's going to make it purple, and yeah, it's, it's kind of a nightmare. Uh, I recommend if it's in a wall or using water, definitely, but uh, I'm not going to bother here. So, kind of 
kind of clean the connection here, make sure it's not a lot of dust, and uh, you want to apply the glue, you want to apply it to the inside of this PVC joint, and then we also want to apply it to the outside of the PVC we're gluing. Let's just make sure that we get uh, glue everywhere. Now we're going to attach this and we're going to turn it just to make sure that glue spreads everywhere. So, we give it a couple of turns there. Now we let it sit. And uh, you can actually see on the inside here if I can get this in the camera. But right on the inside there, you can actually see where the PVC gave way, and that's because it melts and bonds it together. So like now, I can barely turn it. Uh, another 20 seconds or so, it'll probably be fully, fully cured. So we're going to go on the other side, and we're going to go ahead and put in the, uh, the coupling. And this is just so that we can connect uh, another piece of PVC just like this to another one. And can I clean it real quick? And we're going to do the inside of the PVC fitting again. You don't want a ton of standing glue. You just want just enough to be a layer there. And we've got PVC on the outside of the pipe. We're just going to stick them together and turn again. And we want to make sure that it goes all the way in. We don't want to leave it, you know, just barely on or something like that. Um, so yeah, this one had a little bit of extra glue on it. So you can see here, kind of there's some glue. But uh, yeah, it's gonna dry and it'll be a little bit yellow there because that's the type of glue I'm using. But now we're gonna put it up on the ceiling. We'll show you that. So here's what it looks like installed. We've got uh, one of the electrical conduit things here. You notice they don't sit flush uh, and that's that's okay. We just need to, we found a stud and we put it in there. It's, you know, it's not going anywhere. We're in the corner here. It's going to be able to go down the wall there. That's good. Uh, and then we've got another one basically at the other end of that pipe. And we found a stud and put it there as well. And uh, we're probably just going to do two every 10 feet and uh, should hold up great. So now we can see I've got, made the corner. I'm going across here. Going across, going across, above the door, going all the way around. And now you can see the first kind of modification we're going to have to do. So we've been using 10 foot pieces of pipe until here, and I'd say we have roughly a foot or so, and then we go to a corner. So what we do, that's when those uh, PVC, PVC cutters come in hand. We can now get up there and do a little bit of measuring, cutting and fitting, and then continue on down this whole wall, and we'll see how that pans out as well. But uh, we'll show you how this comes together here in uh, just a minute. So as you can see here, we put in the coupler, got the elbow, and we actually finished the rest of the room. Uh, here we have a T. Now this isn't optimal, it's not 100% uh, flush against the wall, but I can orientate it so it will be. So we've got an outlet, or at least a T coming down here. And what this is gonna do is gonna come into this room where we have water that I plumbed in. And there's power and everything in here. And what this is going to be is I can set up uh, brine shrimp, and you're going to need air for that. So why not have air coming from the same pump coming into here? If I ever bag fish and need air, I can put some outlets here so that I can bag fish, that type of thing. Um, yeah. So just think about all the air you're going to need. You know, you always need more air than you're going to plan for. Don't forget to have outlets for bagging fish and things like that that are just not being used or. Let's say you got to float some fish and acclimate them, or you got a bucket, or you're waiting for a buddy to show up. You can have extra outlets somewhere, and this will probably be my space. It'll be down here, and let's put it on the floor and run some airlines in it, and let people come, you know, pick stuff up, or if I'm acclimating that type of thing. So, so here's the last part. I'm showing you how to install uh, the PVC. I guess manifold system. It's not a manifold yet, it's just PVC running all around your fish room. And then we want to know, okay, well how do we get it to our tanks? Well, here's a secret I learned from, uh, you know, an old, an old boss. 
and uh, basically it's a plastic airline valve and uh, you drill into the PVC which is one inch PVC this is the biggest uh, we can run on our fish room that keeps it cheap more the better but you start putting two inch in or something like that and you're gonna go broke uh, and it's easy to hang stuff like that but anyway uh, so we got one inch PVC and you need to have a drill bit that's gonna make it snug so this is really in there I've shoved it in there and this is the way I don't like to install it uh, with the detachable part there because if this falls off it's loud uh, and you can't you can never take this one off and uh, shut it down but we're going to install it the correct way next and uh, so for these in particular ones that I find for these like the Lee's ones and most of them a 3 16 drill bit is uh, what you want to use and it's slightly smaller than the plastic and the goal is this you drill a hole it's slightly smaller you jam this thing in there the plastic expands and it doesn't want to come back out very easily so we're gonna and you always want to test this on your PVC scraps because if you just think you have the right one 3 16 you go drill your manifold and it's too big you literally have to cut that piece out and put a new one back in because you'll forever have a hole there that you can't plug so, uh, yeah, we're just going to drill a hole real quick. Just that easy, and we can do that up on the wall. It's super easy. Uh, and then this time, we want to put the permanent side that doesn't detach here, if we're using this kind, uh, straight into the hole. And so, you just, you know, you'd be up on a ladder right on the top there. You just jam this in there, and it's, it's, it's in there. Like, it, you can rotate it. And you could probably snap it off if you wanted to. And this is where you're going to hook your airline tubing to. And you can control the air. My The way I like to do it, I control the air by basically letting almost all of it as fast as it'll go up here. And then I put another one of these down by the tank so I can do fine adjustments down there if I want. And the reason I use these instead of using nickel plated, tapped ones or something like that is you can get these you know, well under a buck a piece. If you really buy bulk, you might be able to get them. Uh, you know, 20 cents, a do you know, 50 cents. What I don't recommend is there's very cheap ones on uh, on eBay that are from China and stuff like that, and they tend to crack a lot, and they're tapered and hard plastic. Where this is kind of a softer plastic, so it expands and holds in there, uh, whereas those ones don't. And so you can buy a bag of 100 of those and try to install them, and you realize it's not going to work. You could probably glue them or silicone, but that's getting way more complicated than just straight up uh, drilling and pushing them in and being done. So uh, I recommend this one. I think this one like is a Unipet kit. Um, Lee's works well, the blue ones. There's, you know, anything that's got a little bit of softer plastic and, you know, isn't from China. Or, well, I, these are probably made in China, but isn't made in bulk in China with a hard plastic.